I have a brand new digital microscope to do work exactly like this. <laughs> and I haven't unboxed it yet and shown you guys yet. So I haven't started using it yet because we haven't got to that stage yet in the Philip Cockrum channel. It works. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm in pieces over this video. <laughs> Welcome to the Philip Cockrum channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps this channel grow. It helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. A couple of the last pieces of the RC filming puzzle arrived today. We've got a little camera here, CatX Pro, a Run Cam 5 4K. We're going to be unboxing these. We'll do a little head to head on them. If you watched this video from the other day, SJ Cam versus $35 4K cam, you'll be familiar with what you see here. In that video, I didn't even show the footage from this camera because it was so terrible. So I did manage, I did mess around with this when we were filming this video, um, and I tried all the different settings that you could set. Uh, I tried everything I could to get a half decent picture out of this camera and I could not. I've, I haven't finished the repair. I've just kind of started it and I thought, well, maybe folks would like to see this. So before I go too far into it and actually uh, commit to a repair, I'll show you what I'm doing. It seems to be what the problem is, is how the lens is set into the device. They're fixed focus. You can't adjust it. So what I found when I was testing this camera is that if I took images um, you know, from uh, two feet away, it was blurry. And, and as I got closer and closer, so I was using my watch and if I got it about two to three inches away, and I'm going to try and demonstrate that for you in a second, it became clear. The image became clear and, and, you know, sharp and it looked okay. So that told me that the focal range of this lens has been set incorrectly. So that's what we're going to try and correct here in this video. And, um, hopefully it might, give someone you know some help in the future because i've had some pretty well, i've had some success with warranty returns this week but it's been a hard battle and i wouldn't expect other people to go through these battles so um you know you get a problem like this when something this cheap doesn't work out of the box you're more than likely just going to throw it away you, know, you say okay well i wasted my money but then you're going to be you know discouraged about other online purchases or any other product from that company or from the company that you purchased it from. So, um, you know, I'm trying to make lemonades out of lemons here because really, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna throw this out anyway. So we've got nothing to lose. That's kind of what I'm saying here, folks. Okay, so all I've done here, these are just the buttons from inside it. That's the cover for the battery door. That's just a little housing in between this cover and the lens piece, a little spacer, if you will. And that's the cover plate off the camera. This kind of just popped on. There's some little small screws here on the table. You can barely see, but they're there. That screwed this piece of plastic to the back piece of plastic there. Um, and that's about it. I'm just going to we'll pull out the battery for a second so I can point out the insides of this. So let's just go over the components of the camera quick. Okay, so obviously we've got the... The lens itself we've got the control board here where I'm pointing my finger at it we've got the inputs here for power we've got the micro SD card slot input we've got the mode button up on the top that little gold piece that's just a piece for the indicator that's the LED right there where my fingernails pointed to this is a switch that goes on the front of the camera right there and it's got a little light beside it it's actually the gold part there is the switch and it it's kind of you know loose mounted on there it gets held in when you put the cover back on the front um, on this side here that's a little speaker on there and then I don't want to pull it all the way out because there's a ribbon cable as you can see right there that I'm pointing to that connects the circuit board to the screen on the back. And the screen's nicely mounted in the back. I don't want to take that out and I don't want to take apart this ribbon cable because they can get damaged very easy. But that's all I need to do to take this whole piece 
out of this piece is disconnect that ribbon cable, right? Or pull the lens or the, the screen out of this housing. But I don't really need to do that. And I'll show you why. So here's the actual lens itself, an assembly. Okay, there's one little screw here that is holding the lens assembly onto the board here. So I'm gonna take that out now and then I'll show you what's underneath there. Okay, so the little retaining screw is out. So there's the little lens assembly, if you will. It's, you just gotta kinda pop it out to get it out of there. So there's our lens assembly. You can see the magnification piece there, at the bottom, and you can see where the light shines on it. It's magnifying little lens. Then the body of it, then the outer lens itself. That piece right there that I'm pointing to, that's the actual sensor. That's what's picking up the image right there, that piece right there. And you can see there, there's a little small plate there that the lens and the actual sensor sits on there where I'm pointing to. So make sure you don't ever touch that part. You get it dirty or you scratch it, it'll be ruined. These threads here into this piece here that we're looking at. So if you look closely here, there's glue right there where my knife is pointing to. It actually goes a lot of ways around this seam. There's another glob there. So you see that mark right there, that painted mark? That is where this piece is supposed to be screwed into, I think. So if we look at where the, the middle of this mark is, we're like two threads away from the end here. But as you can see where we are now, we're what, five or six threads away from the end. So I think that this piece here needs to be screwed into here deeper. That's gonna change the focal length of this camera from its magnifying lens. So from where the sensor is here, to the magnifying lens and then up to the outer lens here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take off this glue, cut this glue, and we're gonna screw this part in and out here to see if that fixes our focal length and makes this camera at least usable because being able to film things just two inches away isn't really usable. So let's try and cut this glue off and see if we can uh, separate these two pieces. So this part here is going to be a little bit tricky, cutting this glue very carefully here. Um, sometimes these glues can tend to chip off if you're careful, um, but I'm going to be, you know, but I might have to actually cut through it. So I'm going to do that off camera because that could take a couple minutes and then we'll go back. I'll come back whether it was a success or not. Okay, we're back. I can report some success at least. It took a little bit of doing, but I cut through the glue and I had to remove the stuff on the threads because remember, we have to go in this way. It's a lot easier to screw it out because there's no glue on those threads. Now comes the part of adjusting it to find out well, let's see, we'll see if it still works. <laughs> but we're gonna adjust this in and out to see if we can't fix that focal length. So I'm gonna just clean up a little bit more off the threads here so we can get it down further in uh, easier because it does go now, but it's really tight. So I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more so it can go in and out easy. And then we're gonna screw it to the camera and turn on the camera and we're gonna focus it you know, with the camera on so we can see it. Hopefully that will work. Otherwise I have to adjust it and take it apart again and adjust it and take it apart again. So I'm gonna try and do it with the camera running. So let's see, stick around, we'll be right back. If you're wondering how I did this is basically just using a, you know, hobby knife or X-Acto knife here. And I cut through the glue and then I remove some and cut through some and remove some. It's a, it's a slow process, but you know, if you're careful, uh, it, it does work. And you know what, too? I have a brand new digital microscope to do work exactly like this. <laughs> and I haven't unboxed it yet and shown you guys yet, so I haven't started using it yet because we haven't got to that stage yet in the Philip Cockrum channel. It's here, it's ready to go, the video's gonna come up any day, and that's kind of how I'm rolling right now. 
is that, you know, I did plan to make another video today with these brand new action cams, but then I started fixing this. So I thought, well, let's carry on with this and see where it goes. So that's going to be the video that we get today. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I've got that cleaned up enough. So I basically am just running my knife, sharp knife blade. You can feel the difference between these clean threads here and, and ones where there's the glue in. You're just kind of going back and forth between there and the glue eventually kind of, you know, slivers off and finds that the glue is slightly less hard there than the plastic. And, you know, you can use heat in these applications sometimes, but I don't recommend that because uh, you can also reactivate the glue and make it even stronger than it already was by doing that. So uh, try and do those things cold if you are messing with those kind of skills. So as you can see now, we can screw it in and out pretty easy. And remember when we started, we had, what, six or seven threads here? And now you can see we're much closer to that mark where we should be. I think we're probably supposed to be either just touching this right here, so where we are now, or maybe like at this first thread, like right here. So believe me, that difference of just that half a millimeter or not even half a millimeter difference uh, could make the difference of this thing being here in focus or like that, uh, you know, not in focus. So Okay, so, you know, you want to good, do a good pre-inspection. You want to look at that sensor and that thing's got to be perfectly clean like that. I didn't really touch it, so I just, but I did have a little bit of dust go in there that I had to get off. And um, I cleaned that because I was, of course, handling this. We'll do the outer lens when we're done. So I'm going to put this back inside there and screw it to the board. And then we'll put the battery in and we're going to try it. Oh, by the way, this is what every action cam is going to look like inside. Now, it's going to be maybe have better materials that it's made out of. And it's going to have maybe a better sensor and, you know, other circuitry and stuff to it but that is basically what every so your $600 GoPro that's what it looks like too inside it's just got a different housing and that to it so um, you know these repair techniques um, would work on literally any little camera with this type of lens on it so if you look very very close here I'll point them out on the bottom of this little pad there's a couple of little tiny little feet little tiny nubs sticking out on all four corners and there's a place on that circuit plate that the sensors held that they need to line up with and you can feel it when you put it down on there and you know you center up the mounting holes and you'll feel those little four holes just line up it's just the same as this here so these little four little nubs that stick out those sit in those holes for the circuit board and that's literally all that holds it in place and then it's sandwiched together Okay, I got a couple of screws back in. Let me know down in the comments if you're still with me at this part of the video. Say, I'm still with you, Phil. Um, so, I'm not going to put all the buttons and stuff back in right now because I can just reach them with my fingers for now. We're going to put the battery in and we're going to uh, see if it actually uh, works. Okay, so everything's back together. We got the camera on. The lens is about where it was in there and if you recall back in that other video with the sj cam this is kind of what the image looked like through the lens and or through the screen on this little camera and i thought this little screen was just really bad but it was the actual image itself so when i turn the lens now you can see it changing focus on there so see now it's all blurry so i think it's just basically a matter of fine-tuning this to get in that you know to get in that proper focal range of the camera okay we're back we got an SD card in there we're recording we've got a fresh battery in there we're going to take a look at these images in this video in a second and see if it's any good or not and we'll see if we're a success or not we still need to fix everything back down and put it back together and um Make sure it's all secure. Put the buttons back in the case. That's kind of a fiddly thing to do, so I didn't want to do that unless I knew it was going to work and stuff. It's not hard. You just It's just fiddly to do. So, wish me luck, folks. 
It worked. It works. <laughs> Imagine that. So I did um, what I said. I did some test images stuff again. It's really hard to see really what it's going to look like on on this. It's such a terrible screen on this camera. Um, so I did some test video and some images. I did a little tweaking to the actual lens as I was doing it. Um, so here's the results. So as you can see, it's much, much better <laughs> than it was before. It's actually a pretty half decent little image that comes off this, uh, you know, for the money again, for $35 or $32 or something, whatever it was, it's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to do some little final tweaking and clean everything up better and reassemble it. Win, win. And we learned something new today, didn't we folks? So that's our show for today. Love and peace from Canada. And we are YouTube.